We already had a closer look at Cooler Master's Mobius 120, a very special type of fan, very weird RPM number, but hey, sometimes it's about being different. However, there is also a Mobius P version, and P doesn't stand for ARGB with a articulation disorder, it stands for performance. 2400 RPM of pure performance. Generally, the Mobius 120 and Mobius 120P are very, very similar fans. They both have the same seven wings with ring blade design, both are very well made, with the frame being extremely stiff and nearly unbendable, both come with a touchy feeling box, and overall there is nothing to nag about the quality aspect of either of those. Everything good so far. However, as much as they have in common, there are differences, the most obvious one being of course ARGB. Instead of that very dark blue accent color, the Mobius 120P fan is an all black with a milky semi-see-through wing design. In the center there are 9 LEDs that are trying to push the color over the milky part to reach the outer ring. However, I do see a huge problem with this particular implementation. The LEDs are strong enough for the job, don't get me wrong, but note that they are not shining from within the central hub. They are shining onto the bottom part of it, pointed away from the center of the fan. Flipping the fan over, we see that all 9 LEDs are visible because they stick out in the bottom. I get that Cooler Master tried to, to do here. Instead of placing the LEDs somewhat in the center of the hub and then directing it away from, from the fan, which would illuminate everything from within the, the material, requiring pretty strong LEDs to, to pull that off, what they try to do is illuminating everything from the back, kind of like a, a backdrop of color that floats behind the fan. That way they would get to every part of the wing without needing to travel through all of the material. And don't get me wrong here, once it's on, it looks pretty neat. However, if you flip the fan, you will see them. And then imagine that you have a fan in the front of your case as an intake, and then you have your PC like on, on your desk, and it is sitting like in the right angle to you, away from you. Yeah, that is going to blind you 24 seven. And that's a huge issue, and in my opinion, Cooler Master should have pointed the LEDs up, like everybody else. This might diminish the intensity of the light that actually hits the outer ring, but everything is better than being blinded all day long. On that note, as ARGB still requires a cable, the next difference between a Mobius 120 and the Mobius 120P will be the cable. Instead of just a PVM cable, with this one, we will also get a PVM cable with a 3-pin ARGB cable next to it, including a little handy 3-pin ARGB splitter. Inside the box, we will therefore also find the holy grail of Cooler Master products, the 3-pin ARGB connector enforcer. I, I don't know if this is already a standalone product, and if it's not, it's definitely time to do this and sell them in like 10 packs. I would buy a 10 pack. On a side note, the 120P is also compatible with Cooler Master's ARGB Gen 2 controller, so if you want to customize the crap out of the LEDs using Cooler Masters Master Plus Plus Master Cooler software for wizards, you can do that. With all of the looks part finally out of the way, let's get to the point that I am excited about, performance. The 120P is essentially just an upscaled version of the regular Mobius 120. Instead of some lousy 2050 RPM, we are now getting up to 2400 RPM at 75.2 CFM and 3.63 mm of H2O. However, as basically everything else about this fan is exactly the same, it's not like you are forced to use that power. Set the PVM curve to 85% and you have a regular Mobius 120. But do those inflated numbers actually translate into real-world performance? Let's have a look at the benchmarks. Letting the Mobius 120P run at full speed, they were able to keep the CPU at 44.6 degrees C above ambient. This puts it in a whopping 5.5 degrees C above the slower spinning regular Mobius 120. Compared to every other fan, they landed about 5 degrees C behind the Nokia NFA12X25 and by that just barely in the upper third compared to all. On the noise to performance side, however, they are pretty high up there. Unsurprisingly, the Mobius 120 
P behave somewhat like the regular Mobius and they are just offset a bit and they can go on for a little bit longer. Looking at them all, however, they are extremely close to Silent Wing 4 120mm high speed, which is actually an excellent result, making Cooler Master's Mobius P a significant player in the noise to performance game. Not the very best, but very high on the list. Compared to every other Cooler Master 120mm fan we've had, it was kind of odd to see that this is not the best fan out there. Sure, the Mobius P is by 0.6 degree the best max performer out of House Cooler Master, but in noise to performance, the SF120M is still overall the best fan. Weird, but that's pretty much it. So where does this leave us? Well, quality-wise, I have nothing to nag. They are rigid, the cable is nicely sleeved, could have been a, a PVM slitter added to that, but okay. But generally, there is nothing negative to say about this fan, and there is nothing that suggests that Cooler Master did any saving. The max performance result is also pretty respectable, and the noise to performance side is pretty damn good, making those pretty damn good fans. On the design side, ARGB. I'm not a particular fan of how they implemented the LEDs, and for the sake of stop blinding people, they should have given those lights a 90 degrees twist, but other than that, there, there is not really much to nag. Plus, there is a 30 years anniversary edition available for those who like the LEGO look. Price-wise, they are okay, I guess. Not very cheap, but I've seen more expensive fans. 28 euros MSRP is plus minus a Noctia fan, and given everything you get, I don't think this is too far of a stretch. Not like affordable, really affordable, but also not like overpriced. So if you're looking for a pretty good case fan, this is a pretty good way to go. But okay, this should be it for Cooler Master and their Mobius 120p ARGB. At this point a huge thank you to Cooler Master for providing it, but if you want to keep watching have a look at our take on the Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120. On a side note we have channel memberships and if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat but it will also serve to get a box of Legos because we are not going to pay for something that we can build ourselves. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.